Uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, full hire to retire process how this uh, process in the business works and uh, then we'll go and uh, relate this process to oracles components or oracles modules and oracle forms so uh, as you can see here on this uh, presentation there are multiple parts of the process on the left you can see there are different uh, sections like manage recruitment uh, manage employee information manage employee deployment and retirement manage employee development uh, employee self service hr policies employee compensation benefits and managing the vendors so these are some of the high level processes that an hr organization normally follows as you can see the start of this process it starts from a requirement of an employee uh, this requirement can come from hr or it can come from the hiring manager or it can come from anyone who needs a headcount or an employee to work on a particular uh, position and this request is normally called a requisition so first of all the process starts from raising a requisition so a hiring manager uh, creates a new requisition for a new employee this is normally uh, done automatic which is uh, using tools like i recruitment virtual edge and uh, there are many other vendors who provide this facilities uh, in some companies it is still manual wherein they send an email to hr saying that we do need this position to be filled up and things like that once a requisition is created a job posting is uh, created after that now this job posting again can be automated or it could be manual and the job posting basically means that the program goes and files uh, a new job posting on uh, dice.com monster.com and uh, various websites like that it could be internal uh, job posting website it could be external job posting website uh, also it could send email to various consultants who a company works with and then uh, tell them that uh, they need a position to be filled up with this these these con kind of requirements or this skill set so once all these things are done the process goes offline which is to find the correct candidates and uh, get their resumes and stuff like that once they have all those things then they identify the correct candidates uh, screen the candidates and after the interview process uh, all the negotiation and things they hire the candidate and that's where the hrms uh, kicks in hiring the candidates can happen in i recruitment or tools like virtual edge and that is uh, followed by the onboarding process when they hr team will go in and create a new employee record in oracle hrms this is where the screen uh, the people form in oracle comes into picture once you hire the candidate then your employee uh, is uh, on board then you manage the employee's basic information you decide who is going to report to what is the hierarchy he is going to fall into what will be his reporting hierarchy what will be the manager hierarchy how will you manage the skills information uh, employees uh, educational information all the courses that he has attended certifications that he has uh, gone through all the trainings that he has taken and his grade level and all those kind of things which alumni he belongs to etc then you manage the entitlements and compensation info wherein you decide what salary it has to be given what is the compensation that the employee will be given what are the stock options he will be given what are the benefits or perks and all these things defined like compensation itself is a big process and all these things are defined based on the grade level of the employee he is joining at a starter level intern level a vp or a director level or as a board of directors and those all kind of things decide the compensation of that particular employee then compensation is sometimes also linked to the performance information wherein you say which uh, employee performed well so this may not be true for the new hire but it will eventually come up as the employee starts working and uh, showing his uh, skills and his works then you capture his performance and the manager based on his performance gives him a rating and based on that rating the compensation is decided then you manage the employee's leave and absent information leave of absence it could be a uh, short term leave it could be long term leave it could be all those kind of uh, uh, accrued leaves or non accrued leaves and other benefits on the paid time off then you manage employee inquiry so when uh, uh, employees call for a particular information you can do that using oracle provide them the information that they are looking for or maintain their information in the system the deployment and retirement starts when you induct the employee and deploy them on a particular project the deployment is basically the employee assignment and as you may know that oracle provides you a uh, feature to have one or more assignments for an employee then redeploy employee is basically changing their assignment changing the supervisor changing the project location and things like that 
then termination of the employees like when employee is ready to leave or he wants to leave or you want to fire him then you terminate the employees or you retire the employees when their uh, retirement time period is uh, reached while managing the employee development you conduct the trainings you define the performance metrics and objectives you appraise the employee on those performance measures and objectives and you manage the employee's training if they need any performance improvement or if they need a particular certification or a particular training then those kind of things have taken place in the employee development uh, section and then you manage employee's promotion and uh, the succession planning wherein you um, try to understand who is going to fit into which role going forward and what are the person's aspirations and where can we fit that person in employee self service is used for employees to record their work time if you are going to have them exempt or non exempt based on that whether they will be entering their uh, time sheets or not and things like that are entered in employee self service from employee self service employees can also maintain their phone number their addresses their uh, uh, personal information contact information emergency contacts their skill sets their educational information everything can be entered using the employee self service they can apply for a leave which will eventually need a manager approval based on the company's policies and they can also manage all the dependent information like i mentioned these are the thi uh, things that can be done in employee self service the hr policies are maintained like it could be in oracle it could be documents in oracle or it could be external website which is linked to other tools as well as from the oracle self service where all the policies process guides and everything is hosted uh payroll is processed uh, in the compensation of benefits module like uh, you define what all the earnings employee will have what all benefit plans he will have and you manage his taxes based on the address information manage the employee's stock option manage their healthcare benefits separation pay cobra severance all those kind of things and you pay them using the uh, oracle hr ms system so th these are all the main hr core uh, processes which start from recruitment and ends till uh, retiring the employee or firing the employee so this that's why the uh, process is called hire to retire process and as you can also see there are some other uh, things which are processing the job application which are sometimes done internally in house or done by the vendors uh, processing of stock options uh, of course will be done by external vendors because uh, not all the companies will be able to process it on their own so they have to outsource it to things like e trade or uh, fidelity and those uh, companies and healthcare benefits of course will be provided by the healthcare vendors which will work in uh, conjunction with uh, our hr uh, users and hr processes